coin toss yesterday. Yep. You have won it but elected to receive. That's kind of unusual. Is that something the players decide? Was that something you saw from the Raiders that made you go that way? No, I was just excited to, uh, you know, take the ball. Wanted to, wanted to, uh, to take the football and, um, you know, try to finish that first drive with points, which is what we did. We had some, you know, great conversions. And, uh, you know, that was exciting to see. So, you know, it's just something that, you know, before the game, I, you know, I felt good about doing. When you look back at the game, uh, Nicholas Petit, for it seemed like he played really well. What are your thoughts on, on his performance? Um, I, I would probably stop short of saying uh, really well. I think that as a rookie, you know, there's just so many things that, that come up um, new uh, each and every game. I would say that he battles, he competes, uh, he stays on his feet. Um, he d tries to finish in, in pass protection, you know, on whether he, you know, gets maybe the guy gets the edge on him inside. He's got the ability to kind of stay with him and, and finish and, and take some of the, the shot off the quarterback. Um, so I think it's just a process of, of getting uh, the game plan details um, out to the field um, in, in a live environment when, it, when it's going fast and things are moving and changing and they're going to different people. So um, continues to progress and I'm really excited about where he's at. But I think it's just a, it's a great place to start and continue to improve. How did Dennis Daly hold up over on the left side? No, well, I mean I think you know Double D is um, you know certainly trying to figure out what we do here on the fly, um, doing a nice job competing, um, trying to get him to you know continue to to understand where he fits in our in our scheme and, and where he needs to be in combination with guys. Um, but, you know, we, we did a nice job um, pretty much all the day in, in, in protection against some, some really good guys. And um, so I think he's only going to continue to get better as well. As you look back at the, the tight from the offensive standpoint, very happy with what you saw in the first half and then the second half only, only had four possessions. What are some things you could clean up there to maybe to help moving forward? Well, making sure, you know, we had the, we had the turnover, uh, which was – you know, unfortunate. You know, I think some of the the gains and the runs that we had, you know, in the in the first half, um, you know, probably weren't there. You know, for you know whether it's one guy here or our pressure, uh, but we had some opportunities. Um, you know, felt like we we could have got the screen going again. We had success with that uh, in the first half. Um, you know, wasn't able to get Nate out. You know, for obvious reasons, if you watch, you know, how they how they played him, not allowing him to get to the backer um, and the conversions. You know, we had some really cool um, third down conversions in the first half and and weren't able to get it. You know, third and one, you know, we didn't get many people blocked on, on that one. Um, you know, and then just really just making sure that, you know, we're better in four minute there at the end. I thought thought the way that we finished the first half was was three critical points. When you look at defensively getting a stop, uh, stopping the clock, 20-yard return, you know, Caleb Farley did a nice job of getting to the second level. Robert does what, what we ask every returner to do is make the first guy miss. Uh, he did a fantastic job with that. Uh, 21 yards to midfield, uh, 21 seconds, you know, the two timeouts, you know, Nick sitting down, catching a contested pass, Ryan being decisive with it. Uh, you know, and then getting the extra yards that we needed and, and Randy coming through with a big kick. So those, those were three critical points. And I think we all just have to, you know, make a few, few more plays offensively and defensively in, in special teams in the second half there. We, we had opportunities um, in all three phases. Is Caleb just not taking stuff from the practice field to games, Mike? Is that, is that fair to say? You're seeing certain things from him in practice and then it's not showing up on game day? Well, I mean, I think that there's been some growth there and, you know, we're going to continue to to give him opportunities and make sure that he's, you know, ready to go and that he's competing each and every week for for that um, opportunity to play, uh, continue to help us on special teams. And, you know, we just all have to get comfortable in doing our jobs and making sure that, you know, we're, we're, we're understanding the call, we're understanding what the concept is, what it is that we're trying to get done uh, and, and whether you're playing a pass rusher, you're playing an inside linebacker or a corner, and just making sure that 
you know, whatever that call is, that it's getting executed and, and that everybody's focused on doing their job. Be comfortable. Is it a confidence issue for him? In well, I mean, I can't really speak on anybody's confidence level except for mine. Uh, that that's not something that that I think it, you know that that's for the player to understand. And and I, we have full confidence in everybody that's here. Um, that you know, throughout the course of the th season or even this week, that you know, the guys that are here, whether it's on the practice squad or on the active roster, are going to learn a game plan, prepare as a starter, have to go in there. Whether that's Dylan Cole. Uh, like he did defensively, or you know, Josh Kalu, who had to go in there, you know, it's some snaps, um, interior defensive linemen, and so that's what we ask everybody to do. What's your evaluation process like, Mike, for that? So let's say that's position specifically during the course of the week that leads you to here's every guy we're going to go with. I just wanted to try, you know, I man, try try somebody else, try try somebody new, and. And, and give somebody else an opportunity, and that may change this week. That, that's what it was on a short week, and um, you know that, that could be something different for this game plan this week. What's the stuff that you look for during the week, though, Mike, as you do evaluate? You know, just an overall understanding. You know, we don't have that many reps. You know, Wednesday was a walkthrough, but, you know, there's certainly things that we would look for is, you know, the ability to, to you know, be able to match up, be able to understand what the zone – Zone coverage responsibilities are the ability to uh, play the correct leverage, um, and those are all things that we look for. So, is it more of a technique issue from an individual standpoint, or a, a scheme issue of him not maybe all the time carrying out the assignment correctly? And just overall, just trying to make sure that everybody's ready to do their do their job, execute when their when their numbers called, um, you know, and, and find ways to help us win. Are you in that process, though, as far as – because I know yesterday you said that you're still looking for guys that can cover. Is that something – We're still looking for guys that can rush and can cover, you know, when, when they do all those things. You know, we're, we're looking for as many guys as we can find, and um, we'll evaluate the, you know, the guys that we have here and try to make the ones that were rushing here and figure out the ones that can cover. And so, you know, each week is going to be something different. Was it to get him going in that way? And do you think that helped maybe open up the running game, or is that unrelated? Well, I think it was what it were they were trying to do is they were trying to get back to try to stop some of the the intermediate, um, you know, play passes that that we've had, you know, that we'd like to have success with. And I thought the best thing that that Derek was was available. He got to those spots quickly, um, and then Ryan was able to find him. Derek did a, a nice job of, of putting the ball away and, and turning up like we talked about and, and, and gaining some valuable yardage. How big was it for Stonehouse to get off that 70-yard punt to at least put you in position to have them pinned back? Take as many 70-yard punts as we can get. Going back to, uh, to Caleb, what is the balance for you in terms of wanting to have confidence in the guy that's out there to execute, and then also wanting to get a guy like Caleb who hasn't played a ton of football, that development in live game reps, and where does that balance lie for you when you make those personnel decisions? I think that's just something that we have to look at each and every week, and uh, hopefully that we can have a full week of practice um, and, and have a competition and see who you know, is going to be the guy that, that's going to go out and, and play for us and what the rotation may look like. Uh, as we work through what personnel they're in and, and what personnel that we end up playing. How did Mitchell do, given that he'd only been here four days? Uh, I mean, I think he, there was an understanding. They, they caught some balls on him. You know, obviously, we did, a, we did the job that we wanted to on, um, on Devontae and, and Darren. But, um, you know, Matt Collins really came up, came up big. You know, so give him a lot of credit. You know, we just gave up you know, too many X plays there defensively in the second half. Back to Derek, how good is it to get him out in space like that when he's split out like that? Well, I mean, space is, um, you know, probably hard to come by, you know, for, for, for Derek. Um, but, but when it is his own and, you know, if you look at the screen, um, you know, it was cool to see him get going. You know, we just got to try to catch it a little que cleaner so that the – you know, the timing of some of those things are, are better, but those have to be good plays for us and, and still try to find ways to, to use his skill set along with, with running the football. 
Robert had his best game yesterday. Was that just a function of the game? Or do you see, now that he's getting further away from the injury, that maybe he's doing things a little bit more decisively and just playing better football? Yeah, I mean, I think that we were able to find him. I think they really, you know, some cool stuff there with him and Ryan. Um, thought he ran a great route down there in the red zone. You know, the 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 over, uh, the, the play pass was, was nice. I think he set his angle, and Ryan was able to, you know, throw him a really, really good ball. And uh, the punt return was, was something that I thought was, was really, really beneficial and really helped us outside even those, those catches that he had uh, that, that I think was a huge play. How integral is he to the offense when trying to establish a rhythm like that? Well, I think everybody is. You know, everybody is. Everybody has their role on each and every play uh, and how you perform that, that job. And we understand that the better that receivers play and running backs play without the, the football in their hand uh, can only help us. You know, guys that are fighting for, for extra blocks to try to protect the guy with the football. Um, and I think a great example of that was just, you know, at the end of the game on the onside kick. You know, Hoop goes and gets the kick, but but Cody and Jeff Swaim and, and Tory Carter are over there trying to protect the guy and coming from a long distance. And, you know, Tory had a heck of a block to protect Jeff. Um, you know, so those are things that we always are, you know, preaching. Hated to see Zach Cunningham get hurt. How'd you like his effort on that play to kind of fight through a bunch of guys to keep? Yeah, a bunch of guys. You know, they they had some some gadgets there that, you know, they threw. Um, Zach fought through some guys and, and made a play. And you know, don't really question you know his effort or or anybody else's effort. You know, I think we just have to continue to make that a. You know, a calling card for us. Uh, make sure that we're executing better and we're executing better together. How do you feel Rashad Weaver has done, you know, considering elevated snaps and, you know, playing a bigger role in the defense? I, I, you know, he continues to improve. I, I think that, you know, he's, he gets tired a little bit in there, probably playing too much, you know, but that's a product of not getting off the field and, you know, not many, not, not many other guys behind him. Mike, is there a little bit different feel today as you watch film or even some relief of just getting that first win and doing it in the fashion you did yesterday? Well, I mean, I think we're excited about winning. You know what I mean? It's hard to win in this league. It is. And uh, we're, we're never going to take anything away from winning. We just got to continue to improve and fix the things that, that we feel like are fixable. Um, again, find out who's available, who we're going to have, and start to build a, uh, a game plan and a roster uh, to travel to Indianapolis for, for a huge uh, division game on the road. And with that division, so how much do you put emphasis? It's the first one of the year. It's only week four. There's a lot of football left. But do you, do you really put an extra emphasis on the fact that it is a division opponent? Well, I mean, I think you have to, you know, you have to play well. You have to beat the teams in your division. you got to, you know, steal a couple on the road, um, which, you know, this is the next opportunity for that. So, um, you know, I don't think that there's any – we understand that you know, they're a good football team. Um, but we have to go on the road against a good football team that just beat a good football team and um, you know, start doing some things better and continue to do the things that, um, that looked pretty positive yesterday. Given how much draft capital you've put into that cornerback position, a first-round pick, two second-round picks, to be in this state where you're saying we still got to find guys to cover, is that like is there a frustration level to that? No, um, you know this is this is our football team. This is football team that that we want, and that uh, you know I, no frustration. You know what I mean we're just going to make sure that we get guys ready to play, get them to understand what's going on, and uh, and, and I'm confident that they're they're going to play like hell.